Hello, this is Wanjiro US. Once you win your DV lottery, you will be required immediately to complete your form DS-260 online. I've had a number of people asking how to access that form. So I'm going to present in this video one easier way to do that. So uh, you're going to Google Consular Electronic Application Center. CEAC Consular Electronic Application Center it's highlighted there and then you click on that you see it brings you to uh, this website the first one here and again I said for you to be able to identify a legit or varied government website it must add with .gov you'll see US Department of State and you see .gov so if you look at this at the elect consular electronic application center uh, even without clicking it there are other subtitles here we are interested right now with immigrant visa that is for the diversity and once we click there it will bring you to this page so once you are on this page uh, you're going to require to read uh, whatever is given here welcome to the consular electronic application center immigrant diversity visa portal to access your case please enter your case number below you will enter it here but there is a privacy act that you have to lead and to check here that you have read the terms of the privacy act notice and then you enter your case number and hit continue and that will now uh, open your DS260. So in that case you will complete, you will start completing your form. You may not complete in one sitting and therefore there will be uh, option of saving your work and then come to it back later. You can step out, you know, if you want to use bathroom or to go somewhere, you can still, you know, save your work and come back and complete your form. You know, it is a longer form. And in that case, after you are all done and you're sure that you have, you know, completed your form with all accuracy and presented maybe all the document required there, uh, and it, it is now time to submit. The moment you click on submit, you will now have your form completed and submitted and you cannot be able to change anything on that form. Yeah, so in case you have anything to update on that form, uh, you will now require to email, you know, the Kentucky Consular Center again. Uh, remember, once you win, you will now be in communication with the Kentucky Consular Center via email. So you can email them and ask them to unlock unlock the form for you in where you want to do any update, you know. Um, remember we said there are cases that might need you to update your form, maybe a uh, change of status like marriage issues or children issues we have done videos on that you know uh, the cases that you can add to that form remember they have to be supported uh, via documents yeah uh, maybe you didn't have like all the passports ready and now you have received them you have again to email the kentucky consular center uh, to unlock the form for you so that you can complete the part of passport numbers so i hope this is clear and it helps a lot you know for someone who is curious like all this we have been talking about from ds260 so this is basically how you access it bye for now until next wajiro us like follow share bye